Hello, I'm Morris Dimba, and today we are going to assemble the tank tower platform assembly to the tower. Welcome to this tutorial, and let's get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, you can be able to see the tower, the the platform itself already detached from the tower. Now we want to assemble it and bolt it on top. Assemble it and bolt it with our tower. Now, if you take a look at the bottom end here, you'll be able to see uh, the our plates already in place attached already welded at the bottom end of our platform there's one here and then there's another one at that end and there's another one at he, uh, this point another one here and another one here now you have two options you can uh, uh, assemble everything i mean you can assemble the platform at your at your workshop and transport these to the site and just li and, and just use a crane to lift it up and place it on top of, of your tower after uh, after assembling the tower itself or you can uh, assemble everything on site though it might take you some bit of time but uh, assembling everything on uh, i mean at uh, at your workshop i would prefer that and uh, carry and lift it with a, with a crane to the top of the sh of, of the tower now we want to bring it down to the to our couplet on top of our of our tower let me just turn this round so that we have a clear look of this this our tower everything is is assembled has been assembled together now i'll press alt here i'll press alt on my keyboard and i'll just pick one part of this platform just pick on that part while pressing the alt now everything has been assembled together you just lift it and place it on top of our tower now i want to i want it to bring it down to the top of our tower let me just turn this round right there now after selecting everything here i'll right click once again and click a special move here and i'll come straight to linear now on linear here i'll use the z-axis i want to i want to i want to bring it down by two meters i want to bring it down by two meters but i'll prefix this dimension with a negative sign because you know, we, we are moving the opposite direction of the axis here you can see that once i've done that i'll go straight and uh, click move and wait for the result right away okay here we are and uh, it has uh, been moved down by two meters now I'll go ahead and click OK. Then I'll right click to take uh, to to uh, to get out of that active command. I'll click interrupt. Then I'll I'll click on empty screen to remove that selection to deselect everything. Then I'll right click and refresh everything here to remove all these symbols of uh, active macros connection macros. Now let's turn this and see how it has been assembled or it has meshed with our couplet you can see this this has meshed properly with our couplet now what we are going to do we are, we are just going to bolt this together to move, keep our platform in position right on the top of our tower now i'll come to view here and come to navigate and rotate the mouse or you can press ctrl on your keyboard and press your middle button the mouse whichever way makes your work easier now i'll pick on that position and i'll press my left button on the mouse and move my cursor like that i'll be able to turn that round comfortably like that now what i'm going to do i'm going to place my bolts i'm going to place bolts at the bottom end here i need a, I need a bolt here and i need a bolt here and another and, and need another bolt here and another one here now we are going straight away and start placing our bolts right away now we we'll need some bit of guidance a guiding point but once we placed one bolt we just pick and populate it to the other position because the plates are the same the size the sizes everything at the bottom end here are the same this plate and this plate are the same 
now i'll come to edit right here and come all the way to points right here now we are assembling everything inside our computer and we'll uh, convey that information to the fabricators and the people will, do, will be doing the erection of this kind of structure now we'll, we'll mark every plate where which fits the best and, and uh, they they will follow if they plan to assemble everything on site or if they want uh, to assemble the platform right at the workshop then uh, load it to the site and just lift it with the, with the crane that will be options two options given to them now here i want to play some points just to guide me i'll come to edit right here and come to points here i'll click on uh, online then i want to snap right here i want i need a, i need a, a i need a snap right there and i'll snap right here i need this point perfect and i'll click ok right there and i'll just pick this point right click and come and copy it snap on that spot or hold it from that spot then i'll go all the way to view and i want to rotate this as i told you you can use whichever option that you feel comfortable with press control while holding your mild button on the mouse you can rotate then i'll turn that round perfect i'll right click and exit this the point location command now i'll go straight to bolts i want to create my bolts here what i'll do i'll come right here and come to steel then come to bolts here then i'll select the parts i want to bolt together I want to bolt this uh, this plate and this plate. Once I've selected the parts I want to bolt together, I'll go ahead and press my space bar on my keyboard and snap on the first part I want to start my bolting from. I want to start it from that spot and I'll go all the way to this end and snap right there. I'll right click and click interrupt just to get an es escape route from that command. You can see the bolt has been located here, but it needs some bit of our uh, customization. We need to adjust this to fit well with the right bolt size. I'll double click on this bolt right there. And that will uh, bring this bolt property window. Then from that window, we'll be feeding our preferred dimensions here you can see the ball size here is, is uh, m20 which is okay we can use m20 here uh, then we need we need it to oh, to move slightly inside and we also need some washer on top of it and some washer on top of it let me close that well, uh, we'll give it a washer here you can see you can see a washer already there now i'll come down slightly come down slightly and I'll come to position here and inside here I'll feed inside here I'll feed 20 and see the direction it, it moves it moves in in the in the opposite direction now I'll not feed anything right here I'll just leave it at zero then I'll come uh, on ops uh, um at offset from and I'll feed it 20 and click modify it has moved in the right position that is the position i wanted it to move to now we want we don't need anything right there we need a washer here we need a washer here and click modify and uh, we, have, we have a washer there and also now what we can do now we want to bring another bolt this end now we'll come here and rotate this so that we can see clearly what we are trying to do or what we are doing here that's our bolt right there and we need another bolt now to do that I'll just scroll down 
nodes down i'll come up here and i'll come to bolt group here and i'll go straight to bolt distance x i need just two bolts or I just feed one at a distance of 100 and click that and see which direction is my bolt taking i'll come to navigate right here and uh, I'll, I want to turn this around so that you can see the bolt clearly. The bolt is somewhere here and we want it to move all the way to this end. Now what we'll do, we'll right click and exit from that command and double click on this bolt so that we, we, we activate our bolt window here. Now we'll go ahead and feed the one I mean 200 here and click OK or modify. We'll add 50 right there and click OK. Way off the target. Perfect. And uh, what we'll do, we'll close that and we'll come to navigate and we, we rotate this. And uh, we can check that already in the right position right here. Turn that round. Exit. Turn that round. Already in position. Perfect. Let me turn, move it once again with 25 which is okay now there it's okay now we want to copy it on the other end now we'll uh, come to navigate and rotate this after doing that we want to place some guiding points here we'll come to edit and we'll come to points right here and uh, we'll go straight to online and we need uh, we need to snap at, at that end and snap right here to locate a midpoint here. Click OK. Then we'll come here again and rotate this. Rotate that. Right click and exit. Now we pick on these bolts. Right click and come to copy. And we zoom out and snap on that spot. We turn this round right click and exit from that command and you, we snap right there and our bolts are in place and what you should never forget is saving your work make sure your work is saved so in case of power so in case in, in case power takes a break on you you're comfortable and your your things are safe if you're using a desktop and you don't have uh, a ups now it has been bolted you can see the bolting down there perfectly bolted and our platform tank tower platform are well bolted on top of our of our tower now what we are going to do just to copy these bolts to the rest of our points of connection to the tower I'll, play, I'll pick on that and zoom out and pick on the bolt right here. Then I'll right click and I want to copy this. Copy that and I'll turn this round. Now I want to pick a position where I'll be able to copy properly. I want to hold this from this corner. And I'll target the other end of my bolt. And I'll turn this round. My bolt copying is still active. And I want to snap right here. There is my bolt. And I want to go all the way to the other end. To this end. And I want to place my bolt here. Right, this point. I'll come all the way here and pick this bolt. I'll come to navigate and turn this round like this. 
and turn around right click and click interrupt and pick on that bolt and i'll turn around to make sure the other bolt has been selected i'll right click and exit from that click that press control and click that let me turn this round properly or the simplest thing i can do i can just switch back to to this position if i can access my bolts i'm not able to access them that way now i'll just switch back to my isometric view and i'll be able to pick on my bolts now i'll pick on that and pick on this i'll zoom out without picking any part i'm only picking the bolts i'll zoom i'll turn that round like that we don't have a bolt there we have a bolt here right click and click interrupt i need that bolt and i need this bolt i'll zoom out and come all the way to this end and pick on this bolt and pick on that bolt now prior to invoking any copy command we'll check if we've we've selected any unwanted part we don't need this part don't need that part let me just turn this around I'm, I'm not i'm not getting the these selections properly i'm not se the selection is not perfect the selection is not perfect now here will be the ideal now having selected everything here and check whether you we've picked any part that is not bold i'll right click and come to copy then I'll come to navigate and turn this and turn this round like that. And what I'll do, I'll I'll uh, I'll right click and click interrupt, and right click again and click interrupt. Come back and and invoke copy command. And I want to copy this or copy all the balls from that spot. And I'll go all the way to this end. I'll copy it here on that spot, and my balls are in place. And I'll go all the way and copy another one here. Place another one there. Those are my bolts. And our platform are now is now attached perfectly to the tower. Well bolted. And you can take a look and see that. Turn that round. You can see that it has been bolted to the tower. If I press Alt, you can be able to see. that has been bolted even the plate has been has been selected and uh, bolted right at the top of our tower now let me turn this once again and you can see clear to see for you to see clearly these are bolts perfect you can see that clearly let me turn the turn it once again. All the joints and the, the inner part is bolted also. Perfect. Now that's it. And uh, let's meet on the next presentation. We are winding up at this point. And thank you for watching this channel and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and let's meet then bye bye i'm Maurice dimba